Hello! I'm Brian Kangday. I'm a poet from Houston, Texas. And um, this is, I think, video poem number three. Um, I've been doing a series, um, so at least starting to, to do a series, of poetry, uh, reading it online, uh, making videos, and putting it on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, whatever. Um, and uh, this particular poem that I'm going to share with you today is uh, a newer one. Um, is newer a word? I'm not sure. Um, it's called Catalog. Um, wrote it a couple days ago. Um, it's going to be featured in my next book, uh, Leviathan, which will be out in the spring. Um, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Okay, without further ado, here's Catalog. Pensive look meets apprehensive look. Impulsive perusals of disdain. It all begins with the eyes, but minds pretend otherwise, which makes misunderstanding plain. Sharing the same inconclusive impressions, the same oppressive attitudes. Pessimist pacifist versus misanthropic maggot head. Two weary travelers singing the body electric off key. Naive enough to believe they're different. Exceptional even. The stems of their skulls sprout forks and spoons. Devotion to feeding one's ego held up as the best defense. Telling stories of woe that trickle from their mouths that make them salivate and moisten the mold of illusions. That embitter the air with the prophetic stench of doom. A stench like breaking wind from the depths of Hades. Heavy stares may lactate like breasts. Mean glares may slash like blades. Spoken words bask the intentions. A conscience can be stripped bare in the blinks of judging eyes. The greatest lies don't even have to try. Their stubborn little convictions circulating in the brain. Expert opinions weaponized, stockpiled just in case. The inhumane travelers pay no regard to the fussy details of you and I. Their sole function on the ride we've occupied is to implant head parasites. We've all got room to rent up in the old attic, and they deign to fill it. Bad habit creates vice, creates addict. Loyal customers guaranteed. Outside, mental surveillance has begun. Everything unravels in these moments, then explodes soundlessly. Implausible nostalgia charting high on nationwide approval. The footage will be doctored after states' rights get involved. Our hyperreality is the new Hitler. What's more important than fame now? Omnipotent popularity, that wolf is always hungry. Just pull the trigger of your phone and find a target. It's easy. Tout your transmitted chills as essential survival skills. The media ruled by misers, ricocheting through our daily thoughts with an influence like high-performance drugs or pharma-grade cocaine. All the better with which to manipulate self-indulgement. That human bondage of self-worship all the jackals of the cloth understand. Rising above sin never feels as good as sinking down to the floor with it, face down on our knees for punishment. As the travelers trade curses instead of being courteous, you and I can either leave our seats for different carriages, elect no instant relay of our ill-informed elitist messages, and choose divergent mental trains of thought more open to compromise, or hand over free will with pleasure resign virtuous character, and expect lawmakers to facilitate the next modern genocide. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for uh, two more that I'm going to be doing tonight. Appreciate it. All right. <laughs> Hi, friends. Take care.